Hi, you guys. This is Prophet Sophia Sabrina Acampo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Title of this prophetic word is An Inherited Destiny Chosen by God. An Inherited Destiny Chosen by God. And you guys, the time was actually 111. And the Lord provided me with scripture of Ephesians 1 and 11. And it reads, in him, we have received an inheritance, a destiny. We were claimed by God as his own, having been predestined, chosen, appointed, Beforehand, according to the purpose of him who works everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his will. So through his manifold wisdom, through his grace, and through his conformity, he has worked out everything through this inherited destiny that he has chosen. And the Holy Spirit is saying, even before you were formed in your mother's womb, that he had already orchestrated your life in accordance with his pre-purpose plan. So your life was already in his righteous right hands and you were already marked with a seal of approval and with a birthright inheritance that would cause you to stand, even stand out and sustain a light that could not be ignored, a illuminating light. A destiny that he had taken full charge over because you were at the very beginning from the start of it, his special possession. Inheritance was waiting for you all alone because what he imparted in you, he knew it would come forth faithfully and strong. So his grace and your faith has brought this inheritance on strong. And this is why you are a remnant that he has set aside and set apart for his use in a class all by itself because you are his very own. You are his beloved and he adores you. You were born a joint heir, a soul heir, and a rightful heir to the throne of the grace of God. And he kept you close to him to make sure that in this season, you would obtain all that was due to you. And I hear the Lord saying, in my father's house, there are many mansions, dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go there to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will take you unto myself that where I am, ye may be also. And I will leave an inheritance for my children's children. So the Lord had to test, mold, and shape you to have the capacity the revelation along with the understanding that the same thing he did for you, he wants you to pass the baton to your children and your children's children, your loved ones, all in the same of the inherited chosen destiny that was set in place for you because he wants this cycle to be continuous. So it's training up a child in a way that they should go from the very beginning, the same thing he did for you. And when you grow old, you will not depart from it. So what he has imparted into you, all of the abilities, the creativity, all of its traits, you have not departed from it. The Lord is saying it is on the inside of you. Those qualities and abilities are still there and that it's the same thing he's wanting you to do for your very own. 
to keep the baton going, to pass it on so it can be continuous. That they will always remember and stick to those principles and practicalities of that thing of what it is that the Lord has imparted into them and what he has promised, purpose, and predestined for them to do. First Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Many are called, but few are chosen, and you were chosen for such a time as this through the manifold wisdom of God and the Lord's treasured possession of an inherited destiny chosen race because the Lord knew he had imparted traits of him on the inside of you to cause you to endure and even represent him in a major way, in a way that is unfathomable to bring his name glory by you telling your story. An inherited destiny chosen by God. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word really gave you revelation and understanding of just how much of a greater value that the Lord sees and he chose you. He knows every hair on your head. He knows you by name. He imparted you with the creative gifts, abilities, and talents to bring forth. But he wants this thing. He wants you to pass the baton so it can be continuous cycle of growth, a continuous cycle of elevation, a continuous cycle of his manifold wisdom, a continuous cycle of his grace, a continuous cycle of his power in this hour. An inherited destiny chosen by God is who you are. You are his beloved and he thinks the world of you and trust that process because this is the season that he's blessing you beyond compare. Is going to stun you of all that he has placed in you and you were chosen for such a time as this and the Lord wants you to know that you have not missed. You were predestined, promised and purpose for this thing and it hasn't changed. The only thing that is changing is he is changing and rearranging you for promotion and elevation and uplifting to a higher dimension in him. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And we will most certainly talk on the next. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success, through this manifold wisdom, through his grace, through his power in this hour, knowing that you were set apart, set aside, and you were chosen for an inherited destiny by God himself and you are up on the shadow of his wings and its righteous right hands and seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. He had a plan, a promise, and a purpose predestined for you from the very beginning. He marked you for greatness. So know that you are valuable. Don't let anyone tell you who you are not. You tell them who God created, promised, purpose, and predestined for you to be. And that you are an inherited, destiny, chosen child that was chosen by the righteous right hands of the power of God and the manifold wisdom in this hour. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Take care. We will talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.